Using your GoPro as a webcam for a Zoom call is an amazing idea. Now, there's built-in webcams on laptops, there's external webcams you can buy, but they're just not very good. There is other options like using your iPhone as a webcam, which is a brilliant option as well. But if you've got a GoPro lying around and you want to use it as a webcam, this is so simple. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. Right, there's a few things you need. GoPro, of course, it's not the cheapest option, but if you've got one, it's a fantastic option. You need a USB-C cable to plug it into your laptop and then plug it into the GoPro. And then you need to download the GoPro webcam software from the website. It's easy, simple to do. Go and do it nice and quickly. And then it's on your computer. Once you plug the camera into the computer, it recognizes it straight away. Now we're in Zoom. Now you can go to Zoom and when you start a new meeting, it of course asks you to join with video, asks you to join with computer audio, do both. I recommend using an external audio device. It always sounds a little bit better than using the built-in microphones, but of course you could use AirPods or something like that as well. So to get the video, we'd go down to where it says stop video down here. We press a little arrow up and then it gives you all the camera options that are available to you at that particular time. Now, when you uh, go from FaceTime built-in camera here, click on GoPro webcam, it will show up because you've installed the software and then you're greeted with this now in comparison if we go to the webcam the facetime webcam this is what this looks like it's not great is it it doesn't look great at all switching back to the gopro this is a massive improvement i just fully recommend it if you're making conference calls for work making yourself look a little bit more presentable a bit more professional always goes a long way there are a few other advantages to using the GoPro. One is it's got an unlimited runtime. It won't turn off. Uh, the screen isn't going to go blank at any point. Also, everything's in focus. A lot of cameras these days, if you're using a camera to live stream, you have to use manual focus, and that's not great. So you have to mess around with that. Anyway, this is everything's in focus with the GoPro. That's another good feature. One thing I will say is that you might have to turn hyper smooth off. If you have hyper smooth on your GoPro, turn it off because that sometimes creates a little bit of delay in the audio when you're syncing it in post. Um, so yeah, just turn the hyper smooth off and that will help with that issue. Other than that, the GoPro is a brilliant option for Zoom calls. It's easy to do like I've shown you. Go and have fun, enjoy and um, impress your friends with your amazing quality of your GoPro and Zoom calls. Just a quick video today guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, like I said, I've got lots of other videos on how to use GoPros, iPhones, cameras as webcams for live streaming and Zoom calls and things like that. So make sure you subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads and I'll see you on the next one.